Hello, it's Lou, not Serene Search Team. Phyllis is going to do a little video with me here. This morning at breakfast, a thought occurred to her that we were being tricked. A joke was being played upon us. And it involves the Christmas tree. It's some thoughts that were given to her by Yahusha in the area of December in the Roman calendar because they are hearing all these specials about the origins of the Christmas tree and the candles that they put on them or the lights and the real origin is usually skip, skipped over. The, the real origin of the Christmas tree is found in this book. This is the origin of the Christmas trees. Groves, Asherim, cutting a tree out of the forest. And Phyllis was given a new insight that you should pay attention to also. Hi, this is Lou and Phyllis White. Hi. Hey, it's great to see you visit us again. We had a, an amazing conversation this morning at breakfast. Phyllis was asking about uh, the Christmas tree phenomenon a little bit. We were discussing it. And Yahua gave her an idea. What was the idea? That Satan had been playing a joke on us all this time. Yeah. And what is a joke? When somebody tricks you. Oh, Somebody's have, tricked us. I have a definition. A joke is a display of humor in which words are used within a specific and well-defined narrative. I'm going to skip on down to that because it takes the form of a story usually with dialogue and ends in a punchline. Mm. It is in the punchline that the audience becomes aware that the story contains a second conflicting meaning. Yes. This can be done using a pun or other wordplay such as irony or sarcasm, a logical incompatibility, nonsense, or other means. Wow. And that's what Satan's done to us, baby. He's, and you use the word irony, too. People have been doing things unknowingly because of a pattern caused by traditions that were inherited from their fathers. And you know Yermiyahu, the prophet, Jeremiah. What did he say? We've inherited nothing but lies. And, and you know what? The reason it's a joke is because it's all designed to steal this away from us. Yeah. Let me read that to them. I want to show it to you. I can read it from the screen. Okay. For I know that I have plans for you. Plans to prosper you, not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and future. You can't keep on doing things that he hates and then expect that to come to fruition. Wonderful. We were talking about the reason it's a joke, the punchline is people are duped into cutting down a tree. Well, they say the tree represents eternal life. Yeah. But what happens when you cut the tree? You've killed it. It it's, instantly, it's already a dead tree, even though it doesn't look dead. It's walking around. Well, it's not walking around. We are walking around. But, so the yeah. joke is, the real joke is, Satan thinks he can cut off our eternal life. That's Just it. like we cut the tree dead yeah. and don't even realize we're cutting ourselves off by yeah. doing it. And we don't know we're doing it. We were tricked. It's a joke. And he's laughing. The, the basis of our eternal life is drawn from the root, and the root has been severed in the tree, you know? Mm -hmm. If you don't have the life of the root, Yahushua's the root. We're the branches. We're, we're the thing that bears the, his fruit if, we're, if we maintain the contact with the root. But as soon as we stop obeying him, then we've cut ourselves off. But, you know, Yahushua's not, has fallen to this joke. He's not taken, no. been fooled. He knew before he, knew. he wrote it down. It never happened. Yeah, all these things are written down for us. Don't make pillars for yourselves. Don't make idols. And that's uh, Leviticus 26. You want me to read verse it? Verse 1. But I wanted to see if we could read Deuteronomy 
because there's a curse associated with something that you bring into your house. If you bring a curse, an object into your house, it's right there. Yeah, this, this, is, this is the crux of the matter. I want to start at the, the verse above it. Sure. The carved images of their mighty ones you are to burn with fire. Do not covet the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it for yourselves, lest you be snared by it. For it is an abomination to Yahuwah, your Elohim. And do not bring an abomination into your house, lest you be accursed like it. Utterly loathe it and utterly hate it, for it is accursed. Yes. Is this where we need to go That's to it. Jeremiah? Yes. Yermiyahu, Jeremiah, there's a, a place in here. Oh, the, the wood. Where yeah. the, yeah, there's, people are uh, unwittingly, it's up here. Where? It's uh, right there. The oh, I thought you were going to go to the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, read this one. This is really cool. Oh, this nails it. I'm going to read, starting in chapter 10, Jeremiah chapter 10, first verse. Hear the word which Yahuwah speaks to you, O house of Israel. Thus said Yahuwah, do not learn the ways of the Gaim, or pagans, Nations. And do not be awed by the signs of the Shamayim, for the Gai Gu Guyans, how do you pronounce it? Are awed by them. <laughs> Gai yeah, the constellations. Okay, sorry, constellations, really zodiac. Was, anyway, for the prescribed customs of these people are worthless. For one cuts a tree from the forest, work for the hands of a craftsman with a cutting tool. They adorn it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers so that it does not topple. They are like a rounded post and they do not speak. They have to be carried because they do not walk. Do not be afraid of them for they do no evil, nor is it in them to do any good. Thanks for reading that. Well, what, do we need to read this other one? Let's see. Well, there's another one up here. These are the words of Yahuwah, and we're not misinterpreting them, but it talks about the idol that people make from wood, and they're... Uh... Oh, this this is really good. This is from Yeshiyahu, or Isaiah 44. No one recalls it to his heart, nor is there knowledge nor understanding to say... I have burned half of it in the fire, and I have also baked bread on its coals. I have roasted meat and eaten it. And shall I make the rest of it an abomination? Should I fall down before a log of wood? And you know what? That reminds me of the Yule logs. Yes. yes. And, and, and what do you do, honey, when you've got a Christmas tree, when people have a Christmas tree and they bring you into the house? And, and what, do you, what is the first thing you do? You come load into the house with presents and gifts, and what do you do? You bend down and bow down and put them on the ground in front of yeah. the tree. Yeah, and the, the sexual imagery that you're looking at on the Christmas tree is... Uh, not you something know, you want your children to see. Not something you want them to see. The hidden meanings are veiled to the uninitiated and most people in the world are uninitiated. They're just doing what Satan wants and it's a joke. Well, that was a great idea that he gave you. Well, it's Satan's joke and, yeah. and the whole idea of an everlasting tree being killed. It's like it's what Satan wants to do to all of us. He wants us all to lose our eternity. <clears throat> yes, he does. Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.